الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلوات وأتم التسليم على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وطبيب نفوسنا أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي In continuing on with what we spoke about, just a, 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 a quick summary of what it is that we were discussing last night in our in introduction to the important topic of ma'rifatun nafs, the knowledge of the self, or self-knowledge, where we know that there is a time in our life where we need to decide to make that journey, to commence that journey, to begin that journey towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This sayl that even the Qur'an and Ahadith uh, speak about in many places needs to commence in order for one to realize the very purpose that they were created and the very purpose that they live on this earth. And so, when we come across with particular verses in the Holy Qur'an where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala admonishes those who go against this natural instinct, this disposition that exists in every human being of wanting to uh, have that uh, search for perfection, the search to improve themselves, the the understanding of realizing that you want to be the sophisticated person, you want to be the impressive person, you want to be the person that stands out, not in the way you dress, right? Not in the way you talk, but in your in the behavioral side that you have. And that's why yesterday when I said that there's a, a, a mix and matching of the def deficiency of our way of looking at life, especially in this contemporary world where we realize that instead of us directing emphasis on issues to do with our nafs and ourself, we're directing uh, our whole way of thinking in our life towards the outer world. So our ma'rifa, ma'rifatul alam, the, the uh, knowledge or acquaintance with the wider world is more than it is with our own selves. Even the significance of impression or impressive or, or impressing, right? Which is a way of, of you satisfying your inner urge towards uh, perfection, even that itself is different in its priority. Instead of you uh, focusing on wanting to be what it is that's good for you in, in your in your inner self, in your in the purifying or the self-controlling or the self-monitoring, all, all of these other uh, tazkiyah stages that uh, a believer needs to go through, we are more focused on our hairdos and our mullets and our uh, mish, mismatch, mishmatch, mishmatch, right, and Henleys, right, and what else is there, Gucci bags, and so on and so forth. So that's our, I heard that, <laughs> that's our understanding of what it means to seek impression, or to seek perfection, or wanting to be that impressive person, want to be that better person. And this is where, when we come back to Islam, when we return back to Islam, and we comprehend the teachings of Islam, not in its shallow meaning, not in its peel, but try to enter its core. Right? That's why when it comes to talking about Islam, People, very much the first thing that they remember about Islam 
is the acts of worship, our rituals that we do, not not undermining the very importance of our ibadat, of course, uh, and the realm of Sharia, but that's a very small portion of what our religion truly stands for. You know, according to um, a place that I read, maybe less than 20% of religion, of our religion, is to do with a Sharia, right? But that's where all the focus is being made. Right? Even in the Holy Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the role that the messengers and the prophets had, you know, the Surah Al Jum'ah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Who will let thee bath that? Anyone knows the rest of the Fil Ummiyina Rasulan Yatslu Sorry? يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ يُزَكِّيهِمْ يعني الله سبحانه وتعالى is saying the role of the, of the messenger of, of the role of the prophet is تَسْكِيَ before it is تَعْلِيم it's to purify before it is to educate and to teach right so at the same time, in mentioning what I had said last night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, warning us, warning us, says, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ Don't be similar to those who have forgotten Allah and in turn, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made them forget themselves, right? So, what is it meant here by nafs? We spoke last, last night, we spoke about ma'rifa, right? What is, it, what is it meant by nafs? We mentioned very quickly um, that the nafs that we're talking about here in ma'rifa, right, is more general than the one particular nafs that we need to combat and we need to struggle against and we need to suppress, which is of course a nafs al-amara. The nafs is a, a very peculiar, wide, vast area in our human body that deals with a lot of different angles in our life, right? It's the place where emotions is involved. It's, in play, it's the place where human desire is, in, is, is related. It, it is a place where we have tendencies and inclinations, whatever they may be, right? And in this center of emotions and inclination and tendency and human instinct and human desire and all these different things um, when becoming acquainted with the nafs we come to realize the true form of the human nature we come to realize why it is that we were created why do we need to struggle with our nafs to overcome those particular animalistic features and characteristics that a person has right the quran says bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim ya ayyuhal insan innaka kadihun ila rabbika kadhan Kadh means struggle. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to us that you are struggling, right? In order to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, liqa'ullah, to have to reach that stage of liqa'ullah, of meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you won't be able to do that if you are. Uh, 
limiting yourself to this dunya we will limiting your your way of <coughs> interpreting your philosophy of life to this world and this world alone and that's why the true human form in this creation the true human form in this creation is it the animalistic side or is the is it the angelic side? Is it the side of al hayawan or al sabuiya the beastly side? Or is it the side of Malaika and angels? That's why uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when uh, speaking about the, uh, the nafs itself mentions in the uh, Holy Quran about the issue of the nafs and he says wa nafsin wa ma sawaha fa alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha qad aflaha man zakaha wa qad khaba man dasaha but Looking at this, uh, looking at these uh, 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 verses, saying "Wanafsin wama sawaha," right? And then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying "Alhamaha." Allah has embedded, right? This here il ilham, ilham isn't inspiring. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wouldn't inspire fujur in a person. What's fujur mean? Debauchery, corruption, right? This. Alhamaha is referring to the human instinct of you of giving you two parts Imma Shakiran wa Imma Kafura, right? We are cho we have the choice of uh, seeking any of these two parts. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has within the human instinct given us the tendency towards taqwa and at the same time as human beings we have the tendency towards fujur what happens if we purify the nafs qad aflaha man zakaha if i do tazkiya if i purify my nafs i reach falah i reach salvation right so that's why the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, it's no surprise when he when he says a'rafukum bi nafsi a'rafukum bi rabbi yesterday we i shared with you what imam ali alayhi salam said man arafa nafsa faqad arafa rabba A'rafakum, the Holy Prophet says, A'rafakum bi nafsi. He who is more knowledgeable of his or her nafs, the more knowledgeable they are of their Lord. This isn't an uh, easy statement to make. And only mentioning just two of these, or a couple of these verses, I've mentioned more than two, but a couple of these verses in the Holy Quran that explicitly clearly speak about how important it is for you to have that inner awareness of your purpose of what it is that you need to do in tackling your nafs and trying to overcome it and elevate one step further as i said i'm trying to as much as i can to stay purely in the area of interpreting ma'rifat al-nafs and nafs based on the Qur'an and the Sunnah of Ahlul Bayt salam, which means they're not going to go all philosophical or 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 um, irfani and but in many times you know when we when we talk about of course those two areas of of sciences uh, they are the most influential uh, sciences that spoke about the concept of human being and the different